All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode and probably the last episode of Atomic Heart. Um, <clears throat> last episode, we got relatively close to the end, but I didn't have enough time to finish it, and I didn't want the last stream to only be like 30 minutes long, so um, we ended up cutting a little bit short, and uh, today I feel like we're going to be able to finish the game, uh, but absolutely been having a blast with this one. I know some people have been having issues with the, the puzzles and stuff like that, but... Uh, I actually enjoy puzzles quite a bit, so it doesn't bother me all too much. But the melee combat and uh, you know the abilities and stuff have been pretty cool. So I've uh, quite been quite enjoying the game, and uh, let's let's continue this playthrough. I hope everybody's having a great day today. I appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out. Uh, remember, if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel, hey, just smash that like button. It helps out so much. And uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, guys. But let's 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 jump into it. Um. Establishing connection. The professor says you haven't slept in three days. I don't want to. Sleeping pills. Bottle of vodka. Why not both at the same time, huh? You know I don't like this stuff. My brain's a fortress. You know, when I was a boy, my brother was in the dark. So my mother. It helped. It. I hate it. The light interfered with my imagination. I didn't like children's books for the same reason. All those colorful pictures. They were real. Exactly. The books in my father's library were interesting. History. Theoretical physics. Science doesn't try to make the world safer or prettier. It doesn't lie to us. It just gives us the facts. So, I knew what I had to train for. And I made another discovery. A monster in the dark behaves predictably. It can be studied. A monster in the light wears a mask and is therefore uncontrollable. Which makes it dangerous. Very much so. Moreover, the light is what makes us monsters. Do you understand, my boy? <laughs> May I turn out the light? Yeah. Reconstructing illumination. All right, this started off a little weird. Is this where we were before? There's that damn chicken. So the way we went the first time was wrong? Quite disorienting chat.
Oh, we're still the furry dude. Where are you, my love? Come to me. Come. Is that what we are? I found you. What's up with the weird hole on the top of your head? A ninja. Charles, where's Larissa? She hid before the explosion. So what happened to Stuck? Stuckhausen was knocked into a vat of polymer by the explosion and is now deceased. You hypocrite. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Huh? Some doctor you are, you grenade-tossing bitch. Petrov and Falatova are cut from the same cloth. There can be no doubt about that. Whatever. We gotta find a way out. Let me check my, uh... <clears throat> well, we gotta get over to one of those, uh... Grade stations. Major, you alive? No, I got killed by a grenade. I'm so sorry that happened. I didn't want any of this, but none of it matters right now. So what does matter, you crispy-ass critter? We have to meet. You need to see this with your own eyes. I'll show you everything. What do you mean by everything? You trust Sechenov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no idea what's really going on. You need to see it with your own eyes or you're not gonna believe it. You got that right. I have no fucking idea what's going on. You will understand when you see it. I have proof. I'll be waiting in the Academy of Consequences. The entrance is inside the lighthouse. Trust nobody. I don't. Ah, oh, there we go. Fading data. Access granted. Well, uh, we'll upgrade. So many points we got. So we'll go with the health upgrade.
Yeah, let's actually recharge your energy meter. Oh, that's not bad. Lost health is recycled into energy. Yeah, I wouldn't. We should have been focusing a bit on uh, on the energy management here too. We gotta save up. I'm gonna save up for a little bit of neural power polymer, <clears throat> and we're gonna try to increase our energy. Comrade Major. Yeah. I must insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass about those rings, Charles? You said you would make a decision about the rings when the time was right. The time is now. I don't have time for this. Yes, you do, Comrade Major. Otherwise, it will be too late. Fuck off already, Charles. There are bodies everywhere. A crazy doctor with a grenade killed Stock. Crazy ass pump thing killed that whale. Damn. The dewdrop is the latest design in the field of biomechanics. To put it simply, it is a hydraulic pump. Isn't that what it just said? Thank <laughs> you. 
Pray to your tin god. Watch out! Got it. That went pretty good, right? We just got a bunch of neuropolymers, too. Enough for our upgrade that we needed. Damn it. Whale, whale, whale. I know. Yeah, the, where's the whale set? It's like, it's like uh, what was it? Uh, Dishonored. It's not Bioshock. It's, I believe it's Dishonored, right? That uses the whale oil. Uh, but reason, but thank you so much for the super chat, brother. Oh, that thing was dangerous. I didn't know if I could handle it. And there are much more powerful robots out there. Real combat robots are far deadlier. There aren't any combat bots here. Not yet, but once collective launches, they will be everywhere. Well, next thing for the gifts, two of brother. And will be equipped with beta connectors. Do you have any idea how much blood will be spilled because of one person's private ambitions? You and the rings are driving me nuts. When are you assholes gonna stop trying to pull my strings? Done. Happy now? Good decision, comrade major. I have no doubt that it saved lives. Perhaps many more than I can imagine. Let's hope so. We really just throw the damn rings? Surprise. Why'd they freeze up? The access code has been successfully extracted from Petrov's neuropolymer memory. Combat mode has been disabled, and the robots have returned to their normal status. Well done, my boy. Everyone who was able to hide and survive owes you their lives. You've done me proud. Thank you, sir. What now? Come back to Chelame, get a checkup, and take some leave. You've earned it. I'll deal with the fallout from this mess. Roger that. I'm on my way. You didn't tell Sechenov about Falatova. Are you still planning to meet with her? I want to see this evidence she says is so important. Dr. Sechenov isn't going to like it, you know. So don't tell him. A lighthouse, huh? So where is she? Larissa! Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's got to be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't no. trust anyone. But she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. I mean, he's never really had to. But now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock, and the Boston even bat an eye. Is the launch of Collective really so important he can't even delay it out of respect for the dead? I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, huh? Well, I don't have any data either. So let's go get some.
What if you can pull yourself all the way up, maybe? Do you guys think she's really going to have the evidence? It's nice. I can see it. by the robots. Well, I figured they were drunk. Huh. But nope. It's thousands of kilometers away from the ocean now. Like a museum exhibit. And I'm here too. Like another exhibit. Now sure, I got a raise. Sure, I barely have to do any work. The machines, machines do everything. Lighthouse and I are just a confirmation that humanity can do whatever it wants. But what the fuck are they guarding with all those flying guns everywhere, huh? And so not just put a little bit of loot up there. What do we have here? A chair and a TV? This isn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I suspected this room has a specific function. Let's see. Let's see, chat. She brought us here to watch cartoons. Or not. That the unscheduled acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Uh, so she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. So that's Neptune, huh? Looks nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. I wouldn't mind spending some time there myself. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechenov asked you to return to Chelome. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. I'm sick of playing Kevin's with her. Now this is the straight Bioshock right here, chat. 100%.
What are we doing here? What do you want? Just hear me out, P3. Let me try to give you a different perspective, and then you can decide how to handle things. Do you know how Sechenov is planning to use Collective? What he's going to do with it? After Collective launches, people will be able to control robots with their minds, and they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way too, but that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Nechaev. It's even worse than slavery. Bullshit. It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. I've got questions. Where are we? This is the Academy of Consequences, the facility's memory, analytic center, and primary archive. The activities of all the other complexes are studied here in order to draw conclusions and generate probability matrices. Get to the point. The Academy has a number of interesting departments. For example, there's the Radio of the Future. By mathematically combining shortwave and quantum echoes, we can predict the music people will be listening to 50 or even 80 years into the future. But there's another very special department here called Polymerized Subject Behavioral Psychology. They're supposed to be volunteers, but... Get to the point. And no more grenades or other bullshit. Any funny business at all and I'll kill you. This is your last warning. Sure, fine. Come on, I won't waste your time. Okay, lead on. That's after doubt, chat. Well, are you ready? Disable polarization. Fuck is this place? A haunted house or something? It's the tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for Collective. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it Limbo. And their bodies are here, under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. Keep going. Uh, the fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use Just it. Just him? Why don't I make them all jump? After all, we all live in a communist society. God damn you, jump! This is insane. Why do you people even do this shit? Fuck. Poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why this. would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. We gotta stop this. Stop this? That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late! Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neurocontrollers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot! <laughs> the boss 
Ross would never do that. He would. And he will. On Monday. All this is really hard to swallow. But I'll help you. Whatever you're planning, I'm in. <laughs> you're willing to turn on Sechenov? After what you just showed me? Yeah. I want to hear what he's got to say. I thought she was going to show us something messed up he did to us. What? What was that? What's what? Nothing. I'm just digesting what I saw. If you worked here, then why didn't you try to stop this? I thought it was for the best. I thought it was for the good of the entire Soviet Union. But when I realized what was really going on, I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything and... you know the rest. Why did you help me? Perhaps because I care. And besides, it's not about you. Well, not only you. Fine, moving on. The test subject is not leaving limbo. Inject your uh, Hey, Major. I'm fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. It won't hurt, soldier. You won't even remember a thing. So he did do something to us. Business. Uh, well, Kevin, how I you doing, man? Surgeon, I can probably help if everything ends well. No thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. Listen, about Victor, I, uh... What? Did you have no choice? You couldn't have acted differently? Will you now tell me that you're sorry? What? I am sorry. Well, I'm not. I should be, but... Victor... No other outcome was possible. It... It wasn't even quite him at that point. I don't want to talk about it. So that's what it's like to be in limbo chat. I just don't feel comfortable around these people. Huh, well, just you wait. Soon this is going to happen all over the Soviet Union and later the whole world. Then you'll see all people stripped of their free will. Everybody's going to be doing you know, that? Free will doesn't guarantee that a person won't be a scumbag. What? Are you justifying atrocities? Atrocities? What atrocities? If they're volunteers, coming here was their choice. It's got nothing to do with me. You're a monster! Affirmative. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. I mean... I don't know if I could deny them that chat. They want the whole world doing that. I might have to just let it happen. Let's be real. Those people looked like they were having a pretty good time. I mean, maybe they can keep their clothes on, but... Freedom, that looks like the ultimate freedom. Resist, my darling, resist. Oh, like, fuck. You're telling me that dude doesn't so look free? Goddamn hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your <clears throat> eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah, exactly. 
That dude Gee, right there is, is that's as free as it gets. Crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big teardrop shaped one. Right there, straight above us. Do you see it? There's nothing there. What do you mean? I'm looking right at it. Oh crap, now it's gone. It's a hallucinatory reaction, a side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Vossot polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. It doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles. What data? What Voshod Polymer Extension? The Voshod Polymer Extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dmitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dmitri? Who are you? Comrade Major, this will be difficult to explain. I am... Charles! Why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the Archive right now. There will be records about you. State your name and personal access code. Crispy Critters. Invalid name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name Charidan Zaharov. Code Fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Charles, are you there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Chariton Zaharov. Huh, that was short. So how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collective subsystems and worked on the module. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? Just about right now, when he went offline. I had no idea Sechenov had stashed his consciousness into your glove. It was the abbreviation Charles that tipped me off. So Charles isn't a person anymore. Just a device. I don't know. I guess he is. Except this device is based on the logical paradigm and experience of one of the brightest Soviet geniuses. So why does Sechenov want him? Because Sechenov never dismisses what he can use. It's easier for him to change everything to fit his needs. I guess you noticed this already. What's funny is that you seem to have made friends with your glove. Well, we've been through a lot. I've got feelings, you know, being alive and all. So does he. Dead. How can you talk about this so calmly? To me, Chariton Radionovich died a long time ago. I'm done mourning him. And besides, I'm a scientist. We're more impassionate towards death than to muddling one's brains. So, how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the Archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the Academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks I am Dr. Zaharov, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Let's go. Mr. M, I've been playing video games on PC a little too long to fall for an all F4. Welcome, Chariton Zaharov. What is the subject of your query today? A little Agent too long. Agent P3, personal file. 
Your search returned 42 audio records. So, which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. So just any record? Let's play this one. Try this one. Commencing playback. The events in Bulgaria left the agents badly injured. Technically speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated and replaced with the latest prostheses. Yeah, I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general observations. Find another recording. I feel like we haven't really been able to benefit from these prosthetics. Like, what kind of prosthetics do we have? There we go. Here's another one. Uh, am I going to be doing any Tom Clancy anytime soon? Um, I don't know what Tom Clancy we would have to do other than Blacklist. Spooner saw Blacklist. Camilla, thank you for the eight months. Plant that checking out Wolong Fallen Dennis. I don't even know what that is. I'll have to look into it. Okay, play this one. Commencing playback. Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign, Blesna, in P3's presence. Crispy. I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. So you're a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. I mean, yeah, we are playing the division. Yeah, that's true. Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod Neuropolymer Brain Function Extension. Objective. Total elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures. Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife. It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of Limbo. 
via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with the push of a button. And my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. Fucking horseshit. What about the hallucinations? Are they also setting off? No. The hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. <sighs> Why the hell should I believe any of this? The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never designed Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. What's the plan, Major? He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechenov, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? And then we play it by ear. So that's how it is, Major. Think it over while I try to hack this elevator and get us back to the surface. Uh-huh. Paying attention now, dickbag? Major, I... I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. Don't have any data, huh? You've always known about all this. There's a reason you're called Charles, right? You're char a ton Zaharov, you son of a bitch. Got an explanation? Huh? There's nothing to explain, Major. You're just as much a Charles to me as I am a perfect stranger to you. First, Sechenov murdered me. Then he turned me into a blob of polymer goo. Then, he brainwashed you and manipulated you. How could I trust either of you? That's why I pretended to be the chatting artificial librarian. I wanted to see who was who. Yeah, well... I guess I would have done the same. So what are we gonna do now, huh? What else can we do, Sergei? You and I are friends now, and we know the truth. We need to get to Sechenov, rectify this injustice, and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Chariton. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the Collective Network. On Monday, everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. Shit, I can't let that happen. Listen. The fucking gadget, the thought device. You can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of Collective. The thought device can be removed. But this merely prevents the wearer from being able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot be undone. Everyone who gets an injection will be part of Collective forever. But I... Was I really married? What was my wife's name? Ekaterina. And... You aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before, but I doubt anything could surprise me now. You and your wife served with the Argentum unit. Ekaterina, or Katya as you called her, was a highly qualified agent. As a child, she studied ballet and made significant achievements in both dance and martial arts. Ballet and martial arts? Are you trying to tell me the boss is metal twins? No way. This is total BS. The boss would never do something like that. Just look at me, Comrade Major. After I died, my consciousness was transplanted into this glove. 
After your wife died, her consciousness could not be saved. But Serchernov uploaded an imprint of her professional skills into his bodyguard's matrices. This is... Why the Holy fuck? This shit. dude's sick, man. Fuck me. This can't be a... We've got a ride, Major. We can get out of um, here. Thank you guys, too. Almost 200 likes on the stream. I do appreciate it. Can we go, Major? Okay. Let's go. I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Oh, shit! Oh, here we go again. No! Not now! Not here! Did he turn us on to combat mode? We are all monsters in the dark, my boy. How many times have you talked about this? Each book from my father's library was nothing but of the knowledge I sought. I've spent my entire life putting those fragments back together. each scientific fact. And once I've completed the puzzle, I found a book that now prevents me from sharing my knowledge. That book is human greed and human People have no time to dedicate themselves to science. On the other side of the world, they're busy playing with money. that exist now allow humanity to fully evolve. They are all. Get rid of them and let robots toil for us. Get rid of inequality and the law of communism. Give people freedom of choice. Accelerate evolution. Share the knowledge of everyone and combine our minds into a single great will start to flow within the minds of all the citizens of a unified nation. A great scientific union that encompasses the entire globe. Yep, so this whole, every direction is blocked. Embrace all mankind. So that means I missed a turn back here. Lift up your head and open your eyes, my boy. You understand the weight of a mind of knowledge better than any. It's the only way, chat. Without falling into the abyss of war and hatred. You are a warrior of science. Take up your sword of knowledge and strike the very heart of the capitalist bureaucracy. Make the world pure and great. Those who die will be preserved as digital copies. No one will ever be forgotten. Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at Facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be lifted back very soon. Sunny. 
You took a real pounding, didn't you? You were pretty close to staying there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but ever since she passed away, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Nothing but blood and ripped off heads everywhere. Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> my Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady, what are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna. Member of the Argentum Spec Ops squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. What happened to the girl we were with, though? Did we actually kill her? Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. <sighs> Fuck. You got a gun, lady. Does it look like I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done stand with down, it. lady. Then such an off to turn everyone into mindless meatbags. First the hey. Soviet Union, then the rest Five of the world. I get it. If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. Then we killed her, chat. We What's killed the her. Cat got your tongue. Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Chariton Zaharov. Chariton? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zena this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Sechenov down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya, Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, um, Granny... get off my back already! Crispy Why critters. didn't Granny do it? She could, she could do it! around here? On the one hand, I've got lying, manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. <sighs> Whatever, lady. Why don't you show me what's now in that arsenal of yours? Sonny. Data. Honey, I am extremely worried about you. I think you may be in danger. What do you mean? The break room isn't safe anymore. No, handsome. My room will always be safe for you. I won't let anyone in, as long as you're here. Then where is this threat coming from? Your glove! It is manipulating you. Take it off before it's too late. And we'll be together till death do us part. Oh, man. I'm sick of you going on about the glove. But I'm right, darling. Yeah, yeah, you just want to murder me. Not gonna happen. How could you even think that, sugar? I only kill pathetic, horny little pipsqueaks who try to enter me when all I want is you. How many times do I have to tell you to stop killing people? But that's beyond me, sugar. I can't help myself. Then you'll have to deal with the glove until you can. You should forbid her from telling you to remove the glove. You see? He is turning you against me. Oh, sneaky manipulator. 
darling. Take off the disgusting thing right now. Listen, can you spare me your maniacal ramblings? This place has already gone to hell. Whatever you say, master. Just answer me often and keep punishing me. Here it is, chat. There it is. Let me see, do I have any... Do it. Saving data. <clears throat> then come on, Sergey. Vengeance awaits. Don't rush me. One thing at a time. I would prefer that we reach such an out before collective is updated and it is too late to change anything. In case Authorization. Major Nichayev, code name P3, access grant. Yeah. Authorization. We'll check. I'll get Major ammo. I was like, ah, uh, but yeah, I'm like definitely gonna get our ammo squared away. Our inventory is all types of messy. <clears throat> so we're gonna. I'm not gonna use the railgun just because it's a uh, absolute um, energy like sink. Chop all that for right now. Let's get this rearranged. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna start disassembling some of this stuff really quick. Now, I don't think I unlocked the rocket launcher yet, have I? Oh, I did. No, I did. The fat boy. I really don't use it all that much. Like, I, I don't, I've don't. i never really been much of a rocket launcher guy, even though I'm pretty sure it probably hits hard in this game, right? Okay, so let's see. Ammo-wise, ammo, ammo -wise, what are we looking like? We got... We need more health, that's for sure. Hey, babe. All right, um... I don't even know if I can craft one. We're short about 63 metal. I could disassemble the railgun here. Let's see. I mean, we could try it. Why not, right? Even though I just freaking uh, got rid of the fat boy ammo I did have. Oh, the stream still says part three. It should say part four, actually. I'm, I just didn't change that earlier. Thank you for bringing that up. Oh, 
Major Alright, so let's look at getting ammo. Fat boy rockets. So we'll do. So you only get one for one here. We'll do eight. Okay, so now we got ammo for that. We got a decent bit of AK ammo. I mean, ammo wise, I feel like we're doing a pretty good. Let's get a little bit more AK ammo. Major Nichayev. Like you twins are able to store up energy in order to enhance its attacks. Attack to take out its stored up energy. Okay. Is that left or right? Ah, same difference. No idea how right you are. Everything she has to kill you. Use everything you have. What are you looking at, Major? Fight! Imagine if there were two of them! Mauricio with the super chat. Thank you so much. I no need for coffee. Just watch Brian play Ari for a morning show. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait, guys. Later on this month, we have two really great uh, zombie games coming out. We have uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake and The Last of Us is coming on PC, which I'm so excited for. So the one thing I didn't grab a whole lot of... 
Huh? Yeah. Um, the one thing that we didn't grab a whole lot of was, uh, health healing items. Atomic Heart Project, approved by the Secret Congress of the CPSU Central Committee on February 14, 1951. The goal is the suppression of the United States of America, change of political regime, abolition of capitalism, establishment of communism. Establishing social and moral ideals consistent with the beliefs of a Soviet person. The method of execution is the seizure of the strategic and military facilities followed by disconnection and shutdown of nuclear power plants. Effective deactivation of the atomic heart of America, complete surrender of the government, and the transfer of power to the top leadership of the USSR. So how are they gonna pull that off? Well, Sergei... First, they sell robots, then they simply give them away as aid. Once they reach critical mass, they take over all the power plants and cut off the power. Uh, Flash, actually, I was watching that. I think I got like two minutes left on it. I was watching it actually right before I started the stream. So he knows I'm coming after him then if he already had that robot attack me. Yeah, we're getting some heals out of these, at least. So how many heals are we sitting on currently? Three, four, five. Ah, there we go. Fading data. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or abilities? Sent so, to my storage. What will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Oh, we'll drop that and one stack of those two stacks. Uh, it should be more than enough resources to deal with whatever the hell's in here. Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? 
Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Sergey, I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton, you were supposed to help the boy not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me? I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. But it wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You'll use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both, then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control. Who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements. I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate. Fuck. Ooh, she's fast. Hi, hi. We got we got numped, chat. We got we got numped. They changed the fucking button. It was Q last time. <laughs> there it is, shit. Yo, she's fast, man. Like, there's, yeah, there's. Now watch it not be Q or F this time. living fuck is this? Stop blaming the machines, Major. Freaking fucking critters. These are cold hard facts, Bullet. <laughs> this is exactly what I want. Stop messing with my head. So one of these robots is decapitating in a child. The wife I don't remember? Well, which one? They both are. To bring Wesna back to life when her brain was ripped in half. I wanted to restore Hemisphere. The process was too complicated. Shit! But why? You're already fucking with people who are still alive. Couldn't you just leave the dead in peace? Which of my other memories have you wiped, boss? And how many times? You couldn't accept her death. I couldn't save her. I had to do it. That's enough, boss. I'm willing to believe that you were acting in my best interests. But why couldn't you just tell me? I'm sorry, Sir Dick. I wasn't sure what to do. Right now, the right thing is to call out the twins and just talk to me. 
forgive me, but right now they're fighting Garrett, not you! Crispy critters! Can we just stop fighting? Get rid of Garrett! Major! What are you... Oh my god. You lousy you piece don't of shit. Sheridan's manipulating you! He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to Limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Sheridan, did you do the same thing to Dr. Volatova? <laughs> Did you use my agent to tear her limb from I'm limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> you motherfucker this whole time. I've been uh, getting up on you, Major. Uh, your uh, job is done. Uh, Damn glove chat, Nora was right the whole time. Boy. Get up! Get up! What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside and 
make way for the next phase of its evolution. Fluffy cat. Sheridan, you're pure evil. What? What are you going to do to humanity and collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept, and your thinking is limited. You are a human. A species that will soon be extinct. I realized when I stopped being human myself. Your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. Don't, Charity. No. Ah, Damn, we fucked up, chat. And he made us get rid of the keys, too. The Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body. And then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished.
fuck? I, I think that was the bad ending because it said to get my revenge. But then the game crashed. Hate freaking Steam's been doing this like the past like two weeks. They got like an update. Has anybody else with Steam done that too where you go to your library and you go to like go and it just scrolls down? Next, thank you for that uh, Wolong final, uh, Fallen Dynasty game. So that was the bad ending. I'll take it. Yeah, the game crashed right there. That that's what happened. And uh, guys, thank you for over three hundred likes on the stream. I appreciate you. I thought I was supposed to get my revenge. Ekaterina Nechaima, the wife I don't remember? Well, which one? They both are. I tried to bring Glesna back to life when her brain was literally ripped in half. I wanted to restore her right and left. That's enough, boss. I'm willing to believe that you were acting in my best interests. But why couldn't you just tell me? I'm sorry, Sergei. I wasn't sure what to do. Right now, the right thing is to call off the twins and just talk to me. Forgive me, but right now they're fighting Charity, not you! Crispy critters! Can we just stop fighting? Get rid of Charity! Take off the club! Okay, fine! First call off! My... We can do this. Don't listen to him. Wake up, D3. Sheraton has been brainwashing you from the very beginning. Wake up. Wake up, sir. What the fuck? All of them. Gotcha. I couldn't see. And I can't stop them now.
wife is dead. Sechenov took her from... Surrender, B3, and give me Jared before anyone else gets hurt. Dimitri is suggesting that I'll be hurt. You will be next, Major. Will you really kill your own wife, Sergei? I don't know if we're going to get the same ending or what. We'll see. I don't, I don't, the only th other thing I could think is maybe I'm supposed to let them kill me. You lousy you piece don't of understand. shit. Charitons manipulating you. But I still think we're going to get the bad ending. He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Cheriton, did you do the same thing to Dr. Volatova? <laughs> Did you use my agent to tear her limb from limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? You motherfucker this whole time. I've been good uh, enough of you, Major. Uh, your job is done. Uh, uh, so when it pops up this time and tells us that we can get a revenge. P3, my boy. Get up! Get up! What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside and make way for the next phase of its evolution. You're evil? What? What are you going to do to humanity? And collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept. And your thinking is limited. You are a human. A species that will soon. Wait, this be is the good, the good ending. I, uh, I don't even want to know what the other one is. I stopped being human myself. Your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. no. Charity. No. Uh,
So is this him destroying Collective? The Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. What? I don't well, I'd have to go all the way back. Well, according to people, that's the good the good ending. Let me see really quick. Strings like a puppet. Little uh, uh. bitch, you're making a mistake. Man. Well, so the other ending, yeah, it's it's done at Granny. When you when you make the other choice, um. So if you guys are wondering where the two. Uh, happen. It, it, it's at Granny, so we'll see what happens here. There we go. I'm not laying a finger on Sechenov. I'm out. I've had enough of this game. What the hell are you? Are you some scared little bitch? You're making a mistake, Major! Head to Chalamet now! If you're so worried about your righteous vengeance, you can go there yourselves. This is my decision, not yours. I'm not helping Sechenov anymore. I've done enough harm. But I'm not playing executioner for a member of the Academy, a hero of the Soviet Union, and a scientific genius. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He is just using you! Is that you. so? Then why aren't I in that limbo, huh? Why aren't you dead? The wizard isn't doing a good job from behind his curtain. By the way, Cherton, I was thinking. Yes? You fucked up! This fucking Vosshot polymer extension in my head, it was your invention! You tried to use people long before Collective came into being. Maybe Sechenov wants to knock the bullshit out of people's heads by crushing their spirit, but he isn't turning people into monsters just like me. Or he'd just use Vosshot instead of the thought controller and the shots! You're making a mistake! Stop squirming, you asshole! <sighs> there. <sighs> That's better. Security footage shows Major P3 exiting facility 3826 and fleeing. His destination remains unknown. Major P3 did not provide any information about his destination, but Dr. Sechenov views this infraction as insignificant. Near the exit used by Major P3, a camera recorded an unidentified object made of black polymer. Its design is unknown. Furthermore, due to its small size, the polymer object in question could not be further analyzed in the footage. See, that, that ending seemed way better. <laughs> that was definitely the good ending. That was good. Yeah, that ending definitely was way better than uh, the one we got, where freaking everybody dies, pretty much. All right, but there it is, chat. Thank you, thank you, guys. Um, I will be doing another stream here tonight. We'll be playing some Sons of the Forest. Um, so give me a little bit. We're going to be knocking that out here in a little bit. Uh, but thank you. I, I do appreciate you guys. Uh, this game is on Game Pass. I actually I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Like I said, I, I could see both sides where some people don't aren't really a big fan of it. Um, it, it, but if, if you could play it on Game Pass, I'd definitely say if you're really, really into what you've seen, then obviously go buy it. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of puzzles, so be ready for that.
Uh, but thank you guys again. I really appreciate all the support. Um, if you guys haven't, hey, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And like I said, give me a little bit and we'll be uh, going out and playing some uh, Sons of the Force here. All right, but thank you. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.